Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce Hunt. This is Rohit and today I'm going to show you how to integrate GitHub with Discord. So before starting, if you are new in this channel, so please subscribe the channel and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side. So let's get started without any further delay. So first of all, let's understand what is GitHub. So GitHub is a web-based platform that provides hosting for version control repository. It is a widely used for collaboration software development projects and allow developers to manage and track changes to their code base. So GitHub utilities the Git version control system which enable multiple developers to work on a single project or multiple simultaneously and merge their changes seamlessly and merge their changes. So this is some brief introduction about the GitHub. Now let's understand Discord. So Discord is a communication platform designed real-time communication primary focus on the gamers but widely used by various interest groups and communities. It provides features such as text, voice, video chat making it a versatile platform for communication and collaboration. So Discord basically used for you know like different types of uh, like text, video, gamers right. So based on your requirement you can create your groups or you can share your knowledge, col collaboration or communication between them. So this is the small introduction about the Discord. So how to integrate this GitHub with the Discord? Very simple, but uh, if you want to learn something new, so please watch this video until the end because it's very interested and very useful if you want to make it this video usually and useful, right? So now first of all, you have to create an account in GitHub. I already created my account in GitHub. So this is my GitHub account and this is my repository. Under this repository, I have main branch. In your case, maybe in master or something like that, right? But main is the main branch in this repository. And uh, first of all, you have to download Discord. Discord basically is a standalone application. You can download from the internet and you can install it in your system. So I already installed it. Let me show you how to look like it. So just click here. Now you can see this is my Discord application. I already created one account here. So that's why you can see here. So first of all, you have to do one thing. Just you have to create one channel here. So how to create the channel? Just click on this plus icon and create the channel name. Let's say SFDC GitHub, something like that right and create channel once you create this channel just click on this uh, setting icon just click on this setting icon under this setting icon you can see lots of option here like this is for you know like overview permissions and you know like integration invites and permissions so based on your requirement you can use it so first of all you have to click on this integration part once you click on this integration part, you can see two options here. Let me show you like first is web hooks and second one channel follow, right? So you have to click on this create web hooks here, right? So just click on this create web hooks and this discord platform automatic create this captain hooks. So you can change the name based on your requirement. So let me change the name here. So let's say Rohit bot something like that so once you change it now you have to save your changes so once you save it now you immediately you can see the rohit bot right and it's automatic generated this copy webhook url so you have to copy it and paste it into your github so how to use this discord webhooks inside our github very simple just open your repository and just click on this setting option and here you can see lots of option here so these all options available inside our you know like github so just you have to click on this webhooks option okay so once you clicked on this webhook option you will be see different types of you know like uh, like options to maintain these uh, you know events or triggers right so just click on this webhooks so let me click on this webhooks here and there is a no 
web hooks available here right now so you have to create web hooks first so how to create that so just click on this add web hooks and here it's asking like payload url so you have to give the payload url so just you have to copy from you know this discord just copy this web hooks url and paste it into that particular area this uh, url field so once you paste it in the end you have to add some you know like platform so i'm using github that's why i'm using github so it's based on the uh, platform if you are using like github so you can give the github if you are using gitlab so you can get, give the gitlab option so there are uh, say platform is specific so you can provide this name once you done it now you have to change this content type as application json and here it should be enabled and you can see this kind of option which event would you like to trigger this web hooks so just the post event send me everything let me select individual event so based on your you can choose that so right now i will show you this kind of event here let me click on this let me select individual event so branch or tag creation tag creation protection rule there are so many option here lots of option so just let me click on this send me everything and click on this add submit or add web hooks so once you click on this add web hooks immediately you can see here my web hooks successfully added you can see this message here in the top and how to check it very simple just click on this repository hello git and once you click on this repository just you have to create new file or you can modify anything as you want so let me add one file here so just click on this create new file and file name let's say demo.txt for example and uh, let me add some context here so this is text file and click on this commit changes and it's asking like commit directly into the main branch yes i want so click on this commit changes and immediately once you submit it like demo.txt file okay text file so you can change it name uh, don't worry about this txt so you can change it like txt because right now i'm giving like dot txt for uh, understanding purpose you can cha change it based on your requirement so once you save it and commit it immediately discord notified some you know like events so immediately you can see here like one new comments so create demo text so i just created this demo text file so please observe so let me modify this file and let's see what happened so just open this demo txt so let me change this you know like file or you know this contact so just click on this add it and let me add a new line let's say this is new line and please observe line by line we will see here let me do that one thing it's easy to understand this one so here immediately you will be see some notification automatically inside my channel so once you click on this commit change commit changes immediately you will be notify with your groups one message so let me click on this commit changes and let's see what happened so just click on the commit changes immediately you can see one message here like updated demo tags one new commit once you click on this uh, link immediately you will be see here and it's automatic redirect that particular files so this is a very useful someone changes some file or maybe like created posting like post uh, pull or anything as uh, as you have in this github all the commands so it's automatic recognize your changes or you know like uh, any modification in your repository so let me modify another file so previously you can see like demo.txt txt right so let me modify this file too and let's see what happened so let's say i want to remove this line so just click on this edit this file remove it and just click on this commit changes and commit changes here and now immediately you can see updated file too and this is all commit id so you can easily recognize and you can uh, check this notification from github to your discord so this is very useful you can integrate and this is very you know like uh, notification type communication between the 
on GitHub and Discord. And immediately, if someone push the code or someone modify the code or someone create any new files or anything happen inside this github so discord automatic notified and you will be see the message like this so this is how to integrate this github with discord so guys i hope you learn something new if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please subscribe the channel share like comments and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never be miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys